welcome back to week 19 of the Iron Man Road to Completionist Cape series. It's me, an exotic llama, starting off the week with... I think it's a scroll mission complete? Yeah, yeah, there we go. And that will be the Death Lotus Darts. Uh, nice. There we go, made it, made it bug out a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's the Death Lotus Darts complete. Uh, so this week I'm going to work on some a little bit of fletching. Uh, I gotta start getting that fletching level up so I can actually make them. Uh, you can't boost for making uh, things here in player own ports. Uh, so I'm actually going to have to get the, I think it's 93 uh, fletching that I need for them. If it'll load, there we go. Yeah, 92 fletching. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Uh, also, it's a double XP weekend, so it's gonna be laggy as hell all weekend. It's gonna be really hard to find you know, good places to skill <laughs> without a ton of people all over the place. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep working on, like, you know, fire making, fishing, run through some herbal supplies and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Also may try to do, like, 10 or 15 mil of gains this weekend, see if I can make that possible. You know, between fire making and dungeoneering, if I do both of them all day, it'll be like 10 mil, a little bit more. Not bad. Alright, first kill of the day, and of the week, for nothing. There's kill number two, let's see! Uh, uh, kill number three! Onyx Bolt Z, that's my first drop of that, so, uh, nice. That's about a mil of Alks or something like that. Kill number four, uh, Overload ran out at the end, but luckily there was only like 5,000 health left, so I got it taken care of. Ah, uh, no bruise today so far. Probably not going to have too many clips to record, but here is 96 Dungeoneering. Uh, going to be working on Dungeoneering for the weekend. Uh, so yeah, there's the first level. Got three to go for that 99. Ending the day on a little uh, farm run here. And I just collected my herb batch uh, right here in Melier. Uh, I've got my Juju farming potion running. But I just got like, like a full inventory of herbs here. Like 20 herbs from one patch. That's like a new record for me. Like, ever. It's pretty insane. So it came out to 66 lantodimes from 5 seeds. That's like uh, 13 per on average. It's pretty insane right there. Oh, and don't know if I've mentioned this before, but for those of you that uh, don't like farming the same way that I don't, uh, since I'm about to go to sleep right now, uh, I just came out, did a little herb run, uh, and since I can only do the arty teleport once a day, I came to arty right here. Yeah, and so whenever I log in in the morning, the herbs will be grown. And just pop another juju farming potion, go do another herb run real quick. And I got two done uh, with, like, you know, very little effort. Just something to do, like, once a day and you get, like, a hundred and something herbs from it. And, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of farming XP every single day, too. Starting off day 128 with a little more uh, dungeoneering. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Demon Horn Necklace. Yep, and throw away the Split Dragon Tooth. Er, well, I can hold on to it, but uh, I think if I throw it away, I get back half of the uh, original cost in Dungeoneering Tokens. And it is, like, quite a bit worse. Let's see. Or it just... it falls on the ground. Can, can I... D nope, okay. I guess I'll just hold on to it. <laughs> And now, 97 Dungeoneering. Uh, it unlocked a new floor, floor 49. Uh, yeah, continuing with that progress. Might actually get 98 today. Don't know. There's about 8 or 9 hours left of grinding, so we'll see what happens. Got an interesting little purchase I'm going to do here. Uh, because I've got a decent number of Dungeoneering tokens so far uh, from doing this little bit of grind. Um... Something I plan on doing uh, pretty soon is training my attack level uh, using a um, dark light to uh, kill water fiends. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of uh, charms there to get my summoning, probably to 96, maybe even to 99. Um, but what I've been using is the uh, the offhand as an enhanced Excalibur, and uh, there was a bit of an upgrade I can get here between the uh, the rapier or the longsword. I'm gonna go with the rapier. And just pick that up so I have a little bit better DPS there. Uh, at least until, I don't know, maybe I get a tier 90 or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, fun little purchase there. And just took care of some uh, Rings of Slaying. We'd like 350 or something and disassembled them. 
Now I'm going to do a little bit of alking. You see there's about 3 mil built up here in my bank. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. It's going to put my, my uh, cash stack way up there at uh, 31.2 mil or, or so. Yeah, pretty nice. That was a pretty easy kill. Kill number 1 for the day. Battle staves and some overloads. And kill number 2 of the day. Oh, I completely forgot to remove that text overlay, even for the last clip. Uh, but there's kill number 2. Not too bad. Alright, kill number three, and magic seeds, nice. There's the end of that reaper assignment, kill number four for the day, lanta dimes. Not even paired up with something, that's just kind of sad. Come on, give me that leg. Ah, oh, wow, well, yeah, okay, fine, I'll take the, uh, that's a 1.8 mil? Yeah, not too bad. 203 onyx bolts. And there's my uh, first dormant piece, finally. Nice, got the helmet. Um, yeah, sadly no crests yet, but there we go. I felt like uh, the day would be incomplete without another recording for the night, uh, but I've been doing a lot of dungeoneering, I even did some on stream, and that's a new record for mediums for me. A minute 43 for a medium? It was like a straightaway. Oh my gosh. That's some insane XP, too. Dude, that's like, uh... Wow, it's like 8k a minute. It's like, uh, almost 500k an hour right there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Starting on day 129, just got, uh, Immenthok Letter Part 9. Um, yeah, interesting rare drop here in DG. Second time fighting Blink, and because I used a, uh, Kite Shield to Resonance, I did it deathless. Pretty proud of that. And there's 98 Dungeoneering. Really getting on up there. And, uh, yeah, 1.2 million left to go. And there's a, a fun elite task. Killed a warped Golega for the first time ever. Uh, interesting boss. So, I saw the uh, reset happened. The daily reset, you know. Uh, lobbied, came back in, and I was like, hmm, I could really use a Dungeoneering challenge about now. Perfect. Yeah, and I already extended it, I know. Priv is still really busy because it's still double XP weekend, but here's two challenges. 24k and... Nice, 216k DG. Time to start up that uh, daily stream. Been doing a lot of dungeoneering and I thought, you know, may as well get a bit of a payoff. And uh, 141022... Bam. There's a 99 Dungeoneering. Awesome. So there's the 99 for the week, only like three days in, but... Yeah. Awesome. Skill mastery, and I can pick up the cape. Is it... Like, this guy? Is it this guy? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea. I'll figure that out eventually. And here it is. It's from Thok. Didn't know that. Because he's not actually... Oh, he has it sitting right beside him. I am blind. Yep, that makes sense. Awesome. There's that cape. Oh, boy. Probably one of the only capes I think uh, might actually look better in the new version of, uh, of capes as opposed to the old. Yeah. Kill number one of the day. Ah. Uh. Kill number two, and I just realized I'm wearing a demon horn necklace. So, hey, I got like a, like a copy of the previous drop. There we go, a 734 kill, and some lanta dimes. <sighs> Started to screw up there at the end, but yeah, okay, fine. Puts me at five kills for the day, with 68 minutes left on the aura. Still nothing. Whew, moving on up there and in rage, I can feel it. Nice, onyx bolts, that's some good GP. Well, I died once, but now this skill is nothing. So, just so I could continue killing, I went ahead and used my pheromone. Oh, hey, new record by like 12 seconds. Not bad. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, actually use up the whole aura, and uh, I died again. So, yeah, like two or three deaths. Kind of want to use the pheromone and just uh, restart. And there's another kill. Ah, 500k or 450k, sure. 
starting day 130, and just before I go and do a little bit of a rack soar, because, you know, I reset the Enrage last night, just wanted to say I'm really excited, because we've got the perks now. Oh man, I need to go through the wiki, see what all's useful, and then try to determine what 99s to go for based on that. I know Invention is one of the ones I want to go for because it will reduce drain rate. I'm not entirely sure how much it reduces drain rate, um, but just because it reduces drain rate, you know, it's going to help me with my uh, skill vention and collecting teaks for woodcutting, and um, yeah. Fun stuff. Okay, yeah, so a lot of the perks seem kind of niche, or kind of useless, actually. Um, but, I mean, they should still come in handy if someone was going for, like, 200 mil all. Uh, and a lot of them are really good for Iron Man as well. Alright, so first kill of the day. Let's see what happens. Uh, number two, come on, leg! Uh, kill number three, but really not expecting anything. Yeah. And... yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, there's 100 range, too. Ah, for some onyxes. I'm pretty happy about that one. So, uh, that total puts me up to uh, 44 dry on the middle leg, every kill being down fa uh, path 2. So, yeah, it's kind of rough. And here's 93 summoning. Pretty much burned through all of the charms that I've collected from Rax. Uh, yeah, I have like no blue charms left. And, um, yeah. Only have a few hundred crimsons left, I think a few hundred, maybe like three or four hundred, we'll see. Uh, yeah, about four hundred left. So I'm just, uh, you know, doing this on Amlot Hour, and then I'm gonna go back to Water Fiends, uh, before too long and collect some more, uh, crimsons. I did that last night, and then I got almost a 91 attack. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to have to keep focusing on that. I've got, I don't know, something like 30 hours left at Water Fiends before I can afford uh, 96 summoning. Uh, not looking forward to the rest of that. Worked on a little bit of Hunter and got myself almost to level 83. I just uh, decided to stop because I wanted to come over here to Ithil. I've got a uh, crafting uh, Harmony Moss pillar going, and I wanted something a little bit more AFK. I um, was trying to get the skills little out of the way for farming so I can keep using Tears of Guthix here on farming, especially with the new skill cape perk for uh, the quest cape, which is why I've been saving my Tears of Guthix throughout most of the week. Uh, but gotta go do that before too long. I uh, have a little bit of thieving to take care of before though. Uh, so I might get like 83 thieving and you know get Hunter the rest of the way to 83 and yeah, let farming uh, have a little bit of breathing room. But wow, after that I have... Uh, like smithing and fletching that start to get in the way and that's actually kind of surprising that my lowest skill is uh, getting close to 83. Alright, first kill for the day! Uh, and number two... Oh, hey, that's nice. Two onyxes yet again. I'm feeling it. Uh, kill number four for the day. And uh, nothing. Alright, number five for the day? Uh, okay, that's a low roll for Onyx Bolts, but it's something. I don't actually know if you can loot it from this side. No, you gotta run around. Let's see. Uh, it actually surprised me when it died. I wasn't paying enough attention to the HP bar. Oh, there it is! Yeah, finally! God! Ah. <sighs> that was 51 Path 2s in a row. <laughs> ah. I guess I could start doing path 3 now, but I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow uh, because I'm not going to do this on 140% uh, enrage. Uh, that's just going to be way too much damage from the darkness. But, I mean, it's two more days of 2-3 that I can just run down path 3, do like two hours of it, maybe six or seven kills a day. That's a decent chance. It's like a 1 in 3 that I can get that, and... Ah, oh, maybe I'll finally get a hilt, too. Hey, there's my third essence drop. Got a Slisk essence. Yeah, after I made that leg, I came over here to uh, God Wars Dungeon 2. I thought I'd camp some, uh... Some of this guy, some Greg, while I still got my aura running. I figure I should be efficient with my perfect juju farming potion doses. Uh, so I have, uh, three Harmony Mosses to pick. Let's see. Anything good? Uh, okay, cool. And this one? 
And this one. At least it's good farming XP, right? Whenever you get a lot of it. Yeah, 3.4k, it's pretty nice. Just learned that I have enough components and um, uh, fishing run uh banked so that I can get all the way to 99 invention. Uh, going to make a lot of uh, equipment siphons and just learned that apparently you can use equipment siphons on crystal tools. I'm crazy, I didn't read well enough, uh, but at least now I know and I'll be doing that and I can uh, finally go back to LRC mining without feeling bad like I'm wasting um, equipment XP. I think my thing is all the way up at level, let's see, level 11. Yeah, almost level 12. So, yeah, gonna go do some uh, some other skilling though. I also just uh, read something on Reddit that's actually really useful uh, for doing Path 3, since I'm going to be doing a lot of Path 3 fairly soon. It's that I should turn on Fortitude whenever I go down there to that uh, bottom path. It uh, just uh, straight up boosts defense, it increases damage reduction, and then, uh, you know, it, incre it doubles the um, base health regen and allows you to regen in combat, you know, so it's a... Uh, I don't know. It's decent to turn on. It'll cost a little bit more prayer points, but I don't really care about that too much. I tend to take uh, plenty of prayer pots anyway. Yeah, so good little tip there for anyone looking to do a uh, path three racks. Starting day 131 with Tears of Guthix for the week. And nice, 73k farming. And, uh, you know, I realized while doing that that basically wearing the quest cape makes you a better storyteller. Fun stuff. And of course, first kill for the day. Kill number two for the day. Feeling pretty good. Nice. Sure. And number three. Hey. Four. There's number four. For the day. Nothing. That darkness really starts to hurt at high end rage. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not even high end rage, right? It's. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, cancelled my uh, rack stream and whatnot early because I got kind of tired of Path Three. It's just really painful. I'm gonna stick to only doing an hour of that uh, on days, not two hours with the extending of the aura. Uh, but anyway, on to turning in challenges. Let's see, it's 20k agility, and then um, got the little combat lamp that'll be something, and then some cooking. 73k. Oh my goodness. Uh, so there's 88 cooking, exactly what I've been uh, working on for a little bit, and that allows me to cook cave fish, so I might have a new food source for racks uh, that might actually help me out uh, whenever I'm pushing the enrage up a little bit. Got about uh, 660 right here banked, it'll turn into like 600 after burning or whatever, but, you know, working on the, um, the raw stuff that I get from Kingdom and pushing that cooking level up a smidge. Just realized I hadn't really made a clip for today, so, uh... Yeah, it's day 132, and I've been doing some woodcutting. I've been uh, trying to get one of my uh, tools up to level 12, or one of my pieces of gear up to level 10, so I can finally siphon it and get to level 83 invention, because I know that's another uh, charge drain reduction and junk chance reduction. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been working on for like a while. I've got a few thousand more teak logs now. Yeah, and earlier I hit uh, 91 attack at Water Fiends, and you can see here I'm up to 85 woodcutting, and uh, like 80k into the level, so yeah, I've been here a little while. And finally, I'm going to be unlocking the final ship slot. So I now have four ships in my ports. Oh, that took forever to actually get here, and I'll just put on whatever captain, sure, yeah, okay, I gotta go do the ports thing, but yeah, that's done now. And, as I said I was aiming for, and got level 10 on the hatchet, or 12 on the hatchet, yeah. Siphon, boom, 459k, got me 83, which, there we go, charge and junk, junk drain, junk chance reduction, charge drain reduction, there, yeah. Alright, first kill of the day. Uh, okay, number two. Hey, another pheromone, that means I can, uh, Reset the Enrage one day when I'm pushing for the hilt, I guess. Leg. Uh. Oh, that start recording button's being really sticky today. Arr. Gross. Well, if it really comes down to it and you're panicking like I do, just keep running and it'll never catch you. The little dark core. Eh. 
damn it. I figure if I'm going to be doing fletching, you see all of these feathers, arrow shafts, and the uh, presumable headless arrows and broad arrowheads, and we'll be combined together, I should come back to Livid Farm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and turn this off. Eh, eh, there. Well, going to call it a night here, up to 80k produce points now, so I'm going to go and uh, claim a new reward, which is going to be the Repair Rune Pouch. Yeah, it's taken care of now. Awesome. Um, yeah, got like another 40k broad arrows to tip here. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but I have to do some rune crafting before then, which I might do tomorrow, honestly. Starting day 133, the last day of this week. Got a fun hunter level that allows me to uh, catch dragon implings. Oh, and it's that time to make a clip again. Doing some uh, rune crafting through the abyss, you can see here. Uh, yeah, I passed 200 million total XP. Now, I thought this was going to trigger over to lots, and it still might. Uh, I'm not sure if that's still a thing or not, but, uh, yeah, 200 mil. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty insane. And here's time for the uh, weekly statue explosion. I'm presuming I can actually finish it. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Alright, just gonna cut the clip short. Y'all know what it looks like by now. Going to throw in this clip real quick, uh, right before I do my little outro. Um, I noticed th while editing that there's a lot of, uh, like, choppy audio. I'm going to try to, like, wear my new headset, or new headset less, okay? I bought a new pair of headphones. I like wearing them, so I've been holding up my other uh, mic and just holding it to my face and that's causing a lot of like popping. I don't have you know like a fancy pop filter or anything like that. Uh, so I'm actually going to wear my headset and speak into the mic instead of you know being lazy about it. Uh, sorry for all of these audio issues that you've been hearing in the past few minutes. Um, yeah I'll work on that. And here's the last clip for the week. Uh, after some desperate need for AFK stuff to do I came over to Harps I've been hanging out here for a while, uh, gained a few hundred thousand XP, um, had some homework build up that I had to start taking care of, so I figured I'd go ahead and get to work on that, um, but yeah, this is going to end the week. Um, I have made a few decisions regarding my, uh, my channel and the fact that I've been doing daily Araxor streams. Um, I noticed that most of my clips for this week are going to be of Araxor. Uh, and that's something I'm going to change so that I'm not going to record every single kill, but if I get a significant drop like from this or like I do from other bosses, I will be sure to record that and try to pick up the reaction as well as I can. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, in regards to streaming, um, I have been doing daily Araxor streams. Um, but I'm not actually sure if I can maintain that uh, and still maintain the 199 a week uh, as there is quite a bit of homework and whatnot trying to uh, pile up and uh, take me by surprise. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but it probably won't be daily streams. It'll be maybe a stream once or twice a week, something like that. Uh, but be sure to follow my Twitch channel if you are interested in that. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but yeah, this is the end of week 19. Next week's going to be week 20. Big, uh, big milestone there. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. On to more 99s and uh, road to max. I, I mean, road to comp. Come on now. Okay. Later, guys.